Hi everyone, I'm Claire, and you probably guessed from my outfit, but I'm going to be talking about spacesuits. So it's Space First Week at the National Space Centre, and we have one of the earliest spacesuit designs on display in our rocket tower. The British Interplanetary Society suit was designed for the moon in the 1940s. We decided to get it made, using materials they would have had at the time. For this video, I'm going to be talking more specifically about pressure suits. Astronauts wear pressure suits to protect against the event of a sudden depressurisation of their spacecraft. The suit would then act as their personal spacecraft, keeping them alive. Pressure suits were first needed for high altitude pilots to make up for the lack of oxygen and low pressure. You may have met Svetlana or Valentina, our pressure suits at the National Space Centre. These are the basis of the so-called suit, but we'll come on to that later. The first spacesuits developed by NASA were the Mercury 7 suits in the 1960s. It may look like they're wrapped in tinfoil, but it's actually an aluminium coated nylon to control their temperature. Another eye-catching suit was the Advanced Crew Escape Suit, more commonly known as the Pumpkin Suit, first used for the Space Shuttle in 1994. The colour is actually called International Orange and will help you stand out against any background. More up to date is the Sokol Suit, first designed in the early 1970s, it's still in use today, by astronauts travelling to and from the International Space Station. It's similar to Valentina and Svetlana because it has a big rubber sack and when secured with an elastic band, it creates a bubble of air around you. We have both Helen Sharman's and Tim Peake Sokol suits on display. When spacesuits are pressurised, it becomes really difficult to move around. I thought I'd show you with the help of this giant arm band. So they've got the spacesuits with air. And you'll see, it gets really difficult to move your joints. If I have an itchy nose, oh no, it's not gonna happen. Luckily, spacesuits are improving. Now real, or from a sci-fi film? These next few suits are going to show you the astronaut fashion for the next few years. It may look like it's from the future, but the SpaceX suits are in use right now from astronauts on the Crew Dragon mission. It's been designed by costume designer Jose Fernandez, whose work includes Wonder Woman and Captain America Civil War. The helmet uses 3D printing technology and the gloves are touchscreen sensitive. We'll also be seeing the Boeing Blue suit, which is more flexible and 40% lighter than earlier spacesuits. A more familiar suit will be NASA's Orion Crew Survival System, which will enhance on the pumpkin suits of the past. All these new suits are utilising on the science and technology of today to make them safer and more comfortable. You can get a good look at all of our astronaut suits on display when we reopen. Oh, okay. Oh, really hot. Astronaut crackers, help me out, Steve.